Today we face a very serious multidimensional crisis. This crisis affects all spheres of life. In other words, it is an economic crisis, it is a political crisis, it is a social crisis, an ecological crisis, even a cultural crisis. So, uh, the question is, is there any common thread? That is, can we find any common cause for the various aspects of the crisis? And the answer to my mind is yes. The cause is always the concentration of power at various levels. It is a concentration of economic power which leads to the economic crisis, of political power which leads to uh, the political crisis and so on. Political crisis is a byproduct of the dynamic of representative democracy. Representative democracy is not a system that was always there, it was uh, created almost about the same time as the market, the system of the market economy 200 years ago, and its dynamic has led to the present situation where it's not even parliaments anymore that uh, take important decisions, uh, it's not even the governing parties, but it is just cliques around the president or the uh, prime minister who, uh, which take all important decisions. This creates huge alienation. Uh, that's why today we don't have any more mass political parties. Uh, uh, people do not uh, become members of parties as uh, used to be the case uh, in the past. Uh, not only this, today many people do not even bother to vote. So this is a manifestation of the huge political crisis that the system of representative democracy is going through at the moment. Therefore, if you look at every aspect uh, of the present crisis, you will see that the cause, the ultimate cause behind it is the concentration of power in some form. And that's why we need an inclusive democracy, because an inclusive democracy is the abolition of this concentration of power at the institutional level, the abolition of this concentration of power in all its forms, and the creation of conditions of equal sharing of power, of political, economic power, and so on. I'm Tex Potopoulos. Uh, I'm a writer and uh, editor of the international journal Democracy and Nature, the International Journal for Inclusive Democracy. Uh, and uh, I have been teaching economics at the University of North London in the past for over 20 years. I would like to talk about the project of inclusive democracy. And uh, I would like to start first with uh, what is inclusive democracy? I think it is important to stress that uh, the inclusive democracy project is not just an economic model, but it is a broader political project which aims to remake society at all levels, at the political level, the economic level, uh, the social level, and of course in the economic uh, in the ecological sphere. Uh, the overall aim of the Inclusive Democracy Project is to create a society in which people determine themselves, in which, in other words, the demos, as it was the classical concept for the people, the demos has overall control over the political sphere, the economic sphere, uh, the uh, social sphere in general. So uh, the Inclusive Democracy Project, in a sense, is a synthesis. is a synthesis of the two major traditions, the two major historical traditions, the socialist tradition and the democratic tradition, and also of the currents that developed in the last uh, 30 or 40 years, uh, the new social movements, the feminist movement, the ecological movement, the identity movements of various sorts and so on. 
In other words, the Inclusive Democracy Project is a synthesis of all those historical experiences uh, of the socialist and also the democratic tradition and all those new social movements. And in this sense, we can say that the Inclusive Democracy Project is neither a theoretical construct, but it is uh, the product of all those historical experiences, nor it is a utopia. And it is not a utopia because there are already trends all around us uh, leading to a society which in various aspects resembles the inclusive democratic society. Uh, there are all over experiments going on with alternative institutions and whenever there is an insurrection like for example uh, the recent uh, Argentinian one, uh, we have seen people organizing themselves in general assemblies and trying to organize political and economic life according to principles like the principles that I'm going to explain in a moment are the principles of the Inclusive Democracy Project. The four components of the inclusive democratic society are first uh, the what we may call political or direct democracy, second economic democracy, third democracy at the social level, and fourth ecological democracy. So let's see briefly what we mean by each of those components. Political or direct democracy means the authority of demons, of people, over the political sphere. In other words, uh, political democracy implies that it is the people collectively that take decisions about uh, all uh, political affairs and directly without representatives, because what we call today representative democracy is a fake democracy since there can be no representation of my will or nobody's will. That is, uh, uh, you can either express your will directly or you can simply delegate uh, a certain kind of wish of you, but you cannot have somebody else decide for you. So <clears throat> political or direct democracy is the type of society where people directly and collectively decide for themselves on all important aspects of political life. Uh, that means that in a direct democracy, every resident in a particular area uh, uh, takes part in the democratic process. Uh, we shall assume that usually this could not be a community of more than 30 to 50,000 people. In the same way as we define political democracy as the authority of demos over the political sphere, we can define economic democracy as the authority of demos over the economic sphere. This means that it is uh, the citizen body, that is all people at mature age, which is decided by the assemblies, all people at a certain age uh, decide all major economic, uh, take the decisions on all major economic problems, uh, particularly those affecting the meeting of basic needs. In a, an inclusive democracy, there should be no private ownership of uh, productive resources, of the means of production, but instead the productive resources should be owned by the demos. There should be demotic ownership of the means of production.